1970, at a children's welfare institution in Kanagawa Prefecture. A couple took interest in a sullen little boy sitting in a corner. Despite the boy being quite rude, the kind-hearted couple decided to adopt him. However, not long after, Xiaoming's body was found in a cave in a remote forest. Fifty years later, the police received an anonymous package, containing a report about the discovery of a boy's body in 1970, a blue children's vest, and an old group photo of children, with the boy's name written on the back of the photo, named Xiaoming. The police, based on the bus seen behind several boys in the photo, discovered that they came from a welfare institution called the Holy Mother Children's Home. Fifty years later, this welfare institution still exists, and the person in charge, Sister Ichiji Tachibana, is still alive, but she has almost no recollection of the little boy in the photo. Although abandoned children were sent there periodically, and although it has been 50 years, this case was significant enough to have been reported in the newspapers. So how could Sister Tachibana have no memory of it? Officer Ishikawa even found Xiaoming's adoption record in the basement of the welfare institution. It was strange that this little life would mysteriously run back to the welfare institution not long after each adoption. And then, the day after his last adoption, he mysteriously disappeared. And soon after, his body was found in a cardboard box. According to the records of the welfare institution, Xiaoming was sent there with his sister. An officer Ishikawa found the sister, now nearly 60, M.S. Kojima, M.S. Kojima did not know of Xiaoming's death. She remembered that Xiaoming was adopted by a middle-aged couple two days later, and she hastily left the welfare institution, but they had agreed beforehand, that even if they were separated, they would meet at the sun tower on Xiaoming's 18th birthday. But M.S. Kojima never saw Xiaoming appear. She thought that Xiaoming was doing well in his new family, so he forgot the agreement with his sister. Xiaoming, being young and cute, was often favored by couples for adoption whereas his sensible sister, having exceeded the age for adoption, stayed in the welfare institution. Even though Xiaoming would follow his adoptive family to far places, he would eventually run back to the Holy Mother Children's home, where the nuns at the time were quite troubled by him. M.S. Kojima remembers the children in this group photo. Back then, the welfare institution had formed a science club, and every weekend the nuns would take them to a scientific research institute for experiments. Based on the investigation, the police found the children in the group photo who were still alive, and uncle immediately recognized the mischievous Xiaoming, because he often caused everyone to be punished by the nuns. But everyone still very much supported this adorable little guy. From the uncle, it was learned, that several children developed asthma and coughs after joining the science club, and two children suddenly died of heart disease in their adolescence. The remaining ones also have heart diseases and asthma. The police suspect that the welfare institution is close to the Qihan industrial area, and the children might have been affected by radiation and chemical smoke. And since Xiaoming was so mischievous, the police suspect that he might have been affected by some medication and suffered from a condition like ADHD. The officer also found a witness who discovered Xiaoming's body. The man said he felt sorry for the boy. Every July 15th, the day he found the boy in the cardboard box, he comes here to pay his respects. He had seen a woman in a dress appear several times. Whenever he tried to greet her, the woman would quickly flee in fear. 